At NUS we saw that there was a real need for um, a comprehensive behaviour change campaign to encourage and embed sustainable behaviours amongst staff and students in universities across the country, which is why we applied for DEFRA's Greener Living Fund. Hello, I'm Hilary Benn and uh, I want to congratulate the NUS on having been successful in getting funding from our Greener Living Fund last year, one of eight projects that are taking place up and down uh, the country. So rather than reinvent the wheel, we brought together five partners with significant experience of working within universities and in environmental behaviour change to create a behaviour change campaign called Degrees Cooler, which has now been rolled out at 20 universities across England. Degrees Cooler is a two-year campaign which focuses on four behaviours, saving energy, recycling, local sustainable food and reducing flying. I know you're putting the, the money to very good effect with the student switch off. I met, uh, I remember him because he was in green and yellow lycra, Mr Switch Off, who came to see me. Hi, I'm the Eco Power Ranger and I'm here to tell you about a fantastic campaign running in Halls of Residence this year. It's called the Student Switch Off and it's an energy saving competition between Halls of Residence. Um, the amount of Eco Power Rangers we've got signed up, I think we're up to about 1,350 now or something. We've, uh, we've reduced our electricity consumption by about 8.3% over 2007 levels, which in the first five months of running the campaign I think is a, a really good achievement. We've had loads of photos submitted through our picture competitions which are all being focused around different energy saving actions. And it's, it's just made it a lot more of a big issue within halls where it hasn't ever been before because students aren't paying directly for their electricity. People and Planets Going Greener campaign is a student-led behaviour change campaign based on the Transition Town movement. Universities have a really key role to play in tackling climate change and preparing themselves for, for a low carbon world. But People and Planet's Going Greener campaign is all about um, increasing student um, and staff engagement in that. We, we, we really think that it's crucial for the entire university community to be involved in shaping that response um, and behaviour change is an absolutely crucial component of that. Go Green Week 2010 was the, the biggest that we've had so far with uh, you know dozens and dozens of film screenings, workshops. Um. We did a Mad Hatter's tea party to try and make people think about how crazy it was about all the rubbish we're producing. A make plastic look fantastic fashion show for the students where we, we ended up giving out prizes for the best, uh, best recycled or homemade uh, costume. Uh, no waste day. Um, Sustainable Diets, uh, Biodiversity Day. All sorts of things from bread making to carbon speed dating. Uh, it was a really, really fun week of actions and people are still carrying it on. Green Impact is an environmental accreditation scheme run by the EAUC which gets staff to work together in teams to green their departments from the bottom up. We were the pilots project for Green Impact. It empowers individual staff members to take action for themselves to green their workplace. And with the help of the AUC we've managed to uh, get this project going uh, out to other universities. This year Student Force for Sustainability have recruited 10 brilliant Greener Living Assistants to help support the project locally. We've um, now got over 43 departments signed up um, which total around about 1800 people. Oh yeah it's going pretty well. Really well, and we've got 15 teams or departments signed up. I have 36 teams working with me, and they have about 3,000 people together, and they're all across the departments in the university. Uh, we've got sort of 40 to 50% of the university covered so far, and I'd like to see more. I've been the kind of champion of sustainability in our office. I'm really quite passionate about changing people's behaviour. Great topic of conversation at our coffee breaks in, in the morning. It's kind of, oh, well, I do this at home, and how do you get into work? Like, well, I walk to work, so I'm ahead of you, and I, and I cycle to work. It gives a chance to bridge the value action gap. And everyone can get really like motivated about what's going on in everyone else's department, which is really nice. Um, I think I think the idea, like with, with Green Impact, of involving teams 
um, it's really good. Especially in my department, they've taken really well to the, the competition. They're quite a competitive bunch, um, and so uh, quite looking forward to smashing all the other departments, I think. <laughs> What Green Impact has allowed us to do is to take the individual queries that I've previously got from staff members on how to improve recycling or reduce the heating in their office and to provide them with a framework to actually address some of these issues on the ground. It manages to cover people that want to do loads of things and are very green. It also covers people that just want to start things. Over the course of the two years, London Sustainability Exchange will be monitoring and evaluating the success of the project. It promises to provide us with data which will help us to feed back in response to requirements for ISO 14001. Uh, I mean, it's a hundred plus criteria of things to do, which can sound very daunting, but for any for any individual group, you could start with one or two of those actions. Well, the kind of things I've been encouraging um, staff to do to begin with is kind of set up um, a way of communicating the Green Impact uh, scheme to other staff members. On campus, we've introduced a bin the bin scheme where we no longer provide desk side bins uh, for individual desks. Getting people to always double sided photocopy, for example. We're going to rationalise the number of printers in the whole department. And that alone has enabled us to reach a 90% recycling rate in our new academic building. I'm sourcing sustainable de departmental food, so this is kind of choosing organic and local options. We're actually going to be carrying out a food growing um, project on campus. We've got one department that's set up its own wormery, another department that's um, converted its van to biofuels. Reusing um, paper waste into making sure lights are switched off. Which may seem very small when taken individually, but they all add up to making a really big difference throughout the university promoting video conferencing and that's taking off, we're kind of reducing the number of flights that people need to take. We're promoting sustainable transport. I'm an accredited cycling instructor, so I'm carrying out training for staff who are scared of cycling in London. What we're trying to do through Green Impact is to encourage them to take a step back and before jumping in the car on instinct to look to see if there are alternatives or whether they need to even travel at all. Actually the attitude that's coming out is so much more positive than I've been used to and it's been really overwhelming just how much people want to engage in this type of project. Kind of taking what we're learning in the office back home as well so um, it, it's, it's not just making LSE more sustainable but it's making all the staff more sustainable at home and at work. And this builds a community spirit and raises awareness about sustainability issues genuine, generally across the campus. One of the best things about Degrees Cooler is the way that students and staff collaborate on so many initiatives. we found the help that we've got from the environment team this year has just been incredible. Um, the fact that it's in halls, in departments, I think it really it hits students on many levels and I think that's what's really important about this project. Uh, so I think that, for me at the moment, has been the most beneficial thing about Degrees Cooler, the fact that students and staff are working together. It's really fun, it gets people involved who wouldn't normally be involved. It's only really, in my view, by involving lots of people, staff and students, that we're really going to make the changes that we need to improve our environmental performance. And with one eye on, for example, People and Planet's Green League table. I think in the future we'll be, uh, we'll be looking for quite a dramatic improvement on the uh, People and Planet League table. And I think a lot of that will be directly attributable to being involved in the Degrees Cooler uh, project. It's an opportunity for staff and students to get involved in projects that move universities forward in sustainability. I can't see that it's anything but good. Um, hopefully it will just keep going and we will all reap the benefits from it, both financially and environmentally. I'm really looking forward to the second year of the programme. Um, I think my favourite bit so far has been seeing how many enthusiastic individuals there are already in universities and programmes like Degrees Caller helps build kind of a tangible framework for them to really excel and show that enthusiasm in a constructive way that benefits them and the university. I wish you every success because in my experience when people see the change happening and find out that it's not quite as difficult as they thought it would be in the first place, it becomes a lot easier for other people to join in and if it's lots of us do it then we can succeed, no doubt about that whatsoever. All the best.